Welcome to Sharpen My X episode number 19. click the link down below to the playlist and see the other 18. Each one giving you a different idea of something you can modify or fix on a guitar. What I have here is a baby Taylor guitar. If you're not familiar with baby Taylor guitars, they're essentially a three quarter size acoustic guitar. They come with a deluxe gig bag. What I wanted to do to this one was make it the ultimate travel guitar. I really always like the baby Taylors and it doesn't have to be a Taylor. You can use any kind of small three quarter style guitar. And what I'm going to do today is install this system in this guitar. It's going to basically make this guitar not only have a built in looper, uh, reverb and other effects, but I only care about the reverb. It's going to also make it a Bluetooth speaker. I will tell you for this video, I'm going to use a Dremel. I'm going to use a screwdriver. I'm going to use an, a uh, drill to drill some holes. And I think that's all I'm going to need besides some glue. The kit costs around $400 and this is what you get. The transducer pickup itself. This is going to go underneath your saddle. You're going to get these tabs. These are to tuck wires. These are actuators. These are the things that are going to glue to the face of the acoustic to make it a speaker now and then of course the brain which is also going to be the built-in lithium battery everything is included and it looks like a lot of pieces but it's the same as really installing any kind of transducer pickup into an acoustic guitar you're going to have the module the uh, input jack and the only thing this is going to add besides the transducer pickup is those actuators and the module is a lot trickier to install because of the fact that it's designed to kind of stay in the guitar the first thing i did was drill a hole in the slot that holds the saddle for the acoustic and that was to to run the transducer pickup through. Now I'd like to point out, this is not a how-to video, just a tutorial of what I did before you hear how the guitar sounds. You're gonna notice that when I cut the hole for the module, I do not put it in the center of the guitar. And that's because the way this guitar is designed. First, it's really small. The second problem is the top of the guitar has linings. So if you look at this picture of the top corner, you can see the lining. The lining is the thing running around the acoustic guitar. The bottom of the guitar is a bowl and therefore it doesn't have lining. Now, the reason that's important is I don't want to cut through those. So if I had a thicker acoustic, like on a full size, I would be cutting the hole in between those two linings. If this guitar had dual rows of linings, there wouldn't be enough room to cut this hole. But luckily, because they did the bowl back, I can slide the module closer to the back of the guitar. Now this is a good time to mention, in the kit they give you a paper cutout that you can use as a template. However, what you're seeing me use here is the frame that goes inside the acoustic and you'll use this frame and the module to clamp around the hole. I've done so much of these modules in acoustics, I'm just kind of used to going fast. So what I did is I just traced it out and I'll use the Dremel to cut out the piece and it's a pretty straightforward thing. If you've ever worked with a Dremel, this should take you about 10 to 15 minutes. Although, as I always say, go slow, especially if you're new. Now for drilling the output jack, you need a two inch drill bit, which mine only fit in my drill press and I couldn't get the angle right. So what I did is used a one inch drill bit and then use my Dremel with a little router bit and just row the, the line I drew out, the trace I did. They don't give you a template for this and actually that would be more helpful as having a template for this because you really need this to be correct because it kind of slots in there. In other words, there's an edge on the plate that needs to go right into that hole. Now here comes the suck part. I thought it would work just like a normal acoustic module. In other words, you would connect all the connectors and then slide it into the hole. That is not the case with this. What happens is you have to install the module, then reach through the sound hole and then connect all those connectors. There is five in total. And let me tell you, that took me about 40 minutes reaching in that sound hole, using a little a mirror and just kind of figuring out by feel where they all go. But I was able to do it even with my big hands and that's a tiny, tiny area so it, it can be done I did it and then the last thing you got to do is you got to install those actuators and all you do is use some 3x super glue put them on each one of the actuators and just glued it to the inside the body onto the top of the acoustic and let it sit overnight it worked totally fine in fact I ran a ton of music through this thing and they haven't fallen off everything works great now that we've added the transducer pickup into the saddle slot we're going to have to sand your saddle down because otherwise it's gonna be too tall that's pretty straightforward you just get a piece of sandpaper just make sure you hold Hold it straight, level, and go slow. This is now an electric acoustic. It has a built-in tuner uh, right here, which is nice. And it also has built-in effects. 
Now I'm using a, a uh, my lapel mic and then I just have a shotgun mic in the room so you can hear the guitar. I'm not miking up the guitar. I want you to hear what you would hear if you're in this room. has built-in effects. Uh, you've seen that before. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Uh, it has reverb, a delay, flanger, phaser. I'm not a fan of any of the effects other than the reverb. The delay is okay. I don't really need a delay on acoustic, but the reverb is nice, especially on a small acoustic like this. I was thinking, uh, since it has a volume, it actually has a volume on how much reverb and how short and long the reverb tail is. So here's a short tail, just kind of a short splash. Here's a long one little longer. And of course, you can actually dial in the effect itself. So again, here's with no effect. This is about halfway. And then this is all the way. And the idea I had for this was, wouldn't it be nice if you're in your hotel room or uh, if you're uh, you know, on the beach or out somewhere, maybe backpacking in the, in the forest and you were playing. But that's not actually what I, I wanted this for. Let me get into the my favorite part. It has a built-in looper. And the looper has its uh, a click-in timer, so you don't have to hit a foot, pe a foot pedal or anything. Just wait for the time to click and start playing. You can actually play or use it as a percussion. I'm gonna start with playing it first. Here we go. So we're in the looper mode. And again, you have a volume for the loop. Now, there is no amps or anything going on here. This is literally, the guitar itself is a speaker. Um, let me pause it. We have, uh, what we have is two actuators that are stuck to the top, literally stuck. They're just glued on to the inside of the top of the guitar. And what they are is they're the, basically uh, the actuator of the speaker and then they're using the top like a cone. It's about as simple as I can make it uh, and even probably understand it myself. So essentially that's what it's doing. It's making the top of your acoustic a speaker. And then of course the box around that is the box like for your speaker around your, you know, like a speaker box around a speaker to amplify it or kind of make it louder and fuller. So again, hit play. And you can play along, and you still get effects, and you can even change the effect use. So now what I want to show you is I want to point out first that this does have an app. And when I say it does have an app, uh, not only do I not have the app installed on my phone, I don't plan to use the app. So that's what I want to show you is that essentially you don't need the app at all. It is also a Bluetooth speaker. So we're going to go ahead, turn on the Bluetooth speaker. Uh, your phone will find it just like you find a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, it's going to say, hey, I see this device. Do you want to connect to it? I said yes. Uh, we go ahead and hit done. It says I'm connected for audio. And now you're listening, well, to my buddy Larry Mitchell, which so I definitely recommend you check him out. But also, we're listening to the guitar. That's right. This is your Bluetooth speaker. Now, you can play along if you want to back a track, or you could just use this as your Bluetooth speaker on the beach in the hotel room, wherever you decide to go. So, and again, you have a volume control. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me turn that down a little bit. This is a lithium powered battery 
And what it has is a USB-C cable plug right here. So you can plug in and literally charge with the charger that's included, charge up the batteries on this and it's all internal batteries. So you're good to go. I would not do this to a high-end guitar. In fact, that was the whole point of this Sharpen My Axe video. When they sent me the acoustic they sent me, it was a full-size acoustic. It was a nicer lag acoustic. And I remember thinking, you know, this system is cool. It has some features that are interesting, like I said take it on travel, take it busking, you know, have it for all kinds of fun type situations like this. But I thought, man, it would be really cool if I could take it somewhere. And realistically, it's just not feasible for me to take a full size acoustic wherever I go. So I thought, man, these are great. They fit in your backpack. And I didn't know how it would sound considering I'm cutting down all that top, you know, this is a much smaller top and a smaller body. And what I could tell you is, it's not as bassy as the other model, which I actually prefer. It's a little brighter. And again, I prefer that because I'm playing it at choir to volumes. For the first video when I did it, I wanted it to be loud to show you how loud it get for maybe busking. This is probably buskable, if that's a word, but um, I would rather think this is more like a travel guitar. Either way, one thing I will tell you about this, whether you have a full size acoustic or the smaller acoustic, the one thing I learned is the unit seems to sound the same in the idea of the way the effects come across, the looping power, the Bluetooth. Sure, a bigger acoustic sounded a little better, a little fuller. Smaller acoustic was a little bit brighter, but again, at lower volumes, really, really was fun to play. Um, but what I liked about this is it seems like a perfect candidate to shove into a hundred, $200 acoustic and, uh, and make something like a travel acoustic or acoustic 